Hi, I'm Henry Li of BlueHeronArts.com. Chinese New Year is coming, and today I'm going to do a white landscape or icy uh, landscape. Uh, the subject matter is the uh, Niagara, the frozen Niagara Falls. This is a picture I got online uh, with a Google search. You can see the, um, the grind falls, as you know in Chinese, uh, the Da Pu Bu, we call it. Um, Niagara Falls uh, are frozen and used um, in many states. That uh, this season is uh, the coldest uh, time. Um, this technique I'm going to use is called uh, uh, the ice and the snow uh, landscape uh, technique. It's invented by a master Yu Zhixue in the uh, early 80s, and uh, now it's, it's a school of painting uh, in the northeast China. And this is uh, some study I did on the arches based on this picture and some uh, falls uh, with uh, the hanging um, ice bars. And uh, I will show you the detail how I did this. To get the effect of uh, um, the ice falls, you need to uh, use uh, rice paper. It's called Xuan ice paper. We use the single layer Xuan. The best is uh, uh, the Red Star brand. This is the one I did with uh, the Red Star Xuan. And you can see the watermark. It records every different layer of uh, uh, ink. So it separates each uh, stroke. And we need to take advantage of that. And you can see the the watermarks uh, to give the outline of the ice. Okay, now I'm going to do it. Uh, the brush I'm using is a Bajer hair brush. And I clean the brush first in clean water. Um, also, you can use uh, ice water. I learned from online a painter in China uh, he specialized in ice landscape. He says the ice water makes difference. So I'm going to try that. And most importantly is the uh, olive water. So I will squeeze the clean water and then load the brush with the olive water. It's uh, about um, one teaspoon diluted in uh, one third cup or half cup, one third cup. Okay, and finally I touch a little light ink on the on the uh, front of the brush. And here is the technique. Just let it drip. Let it drip. So reload again. Same thing. Some almond water and some ink. And you can use uh, lighter, I mean darker ink next to overlap with the first layer. Again, I load the olive water and squeeze out some. But it should be pretty full uh, when you want the stroke to drip like that. So I, I dilute a little bit. 
ink. And you can um, let's see. So this layer is light is darker. And you can see it won't over uh, over right the first one you can see the watermark can you if you use more contrast to ink you'll see uh, even more Okay, um, let's do some uh, snow hill, uh, snow uh, covered rocks. This time I use a soft brush, a goat hair brush. Again, I use uh, cold water to what to soak it, and then a little bit olive, and then. A little light color, light ink. I'm doing something like a, this. this is the snow covered rock. And you can wait a few uh, seconds, a few minutes, uh, then do it, you will see the watermark more uh, distinguished with the second uh, application, uh, second layer of uh, ink. Actually, the ice or the snow comes uh, in layers. So you can indicate that with the watermark. You can see the different uh, layers. Let me do the left side while we wait the first part to dry. So again, we will use uh, olive water, fully loaded, and then a little bit ink, very light ink. <coughs> we will draw a large formation of uh, snow here. And then maybe a little dripping there, so I can use a smaller. Um, this is a winter wolf hair brush. The same way, just let it drip. You can guide the dripping line.
sometimes just let it drip naturally. Sometimes you control the shape, the rhythm. the division of uh, uh, rocks I mentioned three dimension uh, on rocks also applies here and now I'm going to do the remote level the falls in the icy uh, falls you know the so just let it drip Uh, a little bit ink the big brush uh, helps to load more water so you can let it drip this is ice uh, I use olive water, it became water resist. So each stroke is separated from the other. Just like a uh, wrinkling technique, you know, you can use dry brush stroke instead of uh, the dripping strokes on the front. We try to create some uh, contrast between dry and wet.
some of the gray you see actually are white. There's no color in it uh, after it dries. So you see they become snow later. Now let me wash out to the sky, so define uh, cutting the sky with the gray. If you have the experience in the snow um, weather, you notice the sky is gray, the, the ground is white. Let's do some more um, eyes. Okay, now the painting is dry. You can see the true uh, white color that uh, um, shows. So now the, uh, the snow and the, the ice is in pure white instead of gray when it's wet, right? Um, the painting um, is depicting the, the winter uh, scenery. So I'm going to entitle it um, the Niagara, Niagara Falls in silver or white cloak in Chinese. Uh, okay, in Grand Falls in white cloak. And I'm going to sign behind the. So we'll consider this uh, like a part of the composition. So, so the signature goes on this side of the eyes. Make the composition more interesting. I'm going to date it here. Year uh, 2011. My signature. And of course, the seal. That gives some uh, warm color to the otherwise cold picture to create a nice contrast. That completes the painting. Um, I hope you enjoy a happy Chinese New Year. Um, I see you in the next year. Bye bye.